we have had some extremely dedicated, knowledgeable people with us looking at this. They understand the requirements. And we have got what I think is a future for our community. Um, so in terms of the week that we've just gone through, um, so we started off with a number of different options that we put on the table. Those are those boards at the back there. Uh, and I'll take you through those in a second. Uh, we had a public lecture that presented those and talked about some ideas for a great street. Uh, we then narrowed that down with the help of the action team and staff into a couple of alternative concepts. Um, with the help of council, we then landed on a pre preferred concept, and then we've spent the last day or so refining that to get to this final presentation. Sort of the carriageway, everything that we do to facilitate vehicle movement through uh, 100th Street, as well as the pedestrian realm, which is really about the place for people. And as Frank has said a couple of times this week, and I think it's worth repeating, um, you know, we're all pedestrians at the end of our trip. So we come to downtown in our car, we get out, we are a pedestrian and we're enjoying the space. <clears throat> you basically see a five lane condition, which includes parking on both sides. So we have three vehicle lanes for that through movement, a shared turning lane, and through movement. Then we have on either side the parking lane, which at certain key intersections also facilitates right turn lanes. You can hold the parking back at the intersection, and then you can have that right turn lane. So this is what we'll be looking at in terms of facilitating those traffic move movements. And once we nail that, then we're looking at what do we have for the pedestrian and how does that work? And what that might look like, this is Cal at work in his bird's eye perspective. So you're looking north in this case, you have all those traffic movements happening. Here you may have some sort of gateway signage that gives you a sense that something's changing now and it's also the beginning from the park of the greenway and those double trees that will take you in that same pedestrian treatment along along uh, the east side of 100th Street, north. To the heart, we're at the North Peace Cultural Center where we sit right this moment. And the, uh, the city center square, really the heart of the community where we start to look at the enhanced turning movements through 100 and 100. We've got a tremendous opportunity with the, uh, with the sidewalk that's going to be part of the, um, uh, of, of the new road work. To, uh, to look for opportunities along its route to uh, expand that public space into something a little bit larger and more useful. And one of the better uh, places we can do this is at the uh, Old Fort Street Hotel uh, property, where um, we might be able to expand the width of the sidewalk into really a kind of a linear uh, public plaza. And we can see the, uh, the park, which is uh, a very well utilized public space for events and so forth, but to make it even more uh, useful, uh, we envision it being used uh, on a 24-7 basis. So every day, uh, a place to come and have lunch, a place for people who are downtown to, uh, to sit, to meet their friends. How, how could we improve that situation? So one of the options uh, is to uh, perhaps, as this illustrates, uh, with the wider sidewalk, to, uh, to have this uh, linear uh, plaza, um, uh, a buffer of windrow trees to make it more comfortable uh, when the wind is blowing, uh, the inclusion of some pylons and uh, catenary or suspended lighting over the space to illuminate it at night and to make it a cheerier and a safer place. This is looking south actually at the government building at 101st. Um, and here the idea was that you could see a redevelopment of that where government offices on the ground floor could be lifted to a second floor with retail that would further activate that, uh, that high street condition. So this is how that works in the winter time. It's very intentional that we provided temporary storage space for snow. And you can see it here in the center uh, and we talk with public works and grounds too, and we ask them, how much space do you guys need when you windrow your snow? Uh, and, and what about the, the snow clearing equipment on the sidewalk? Those small sidewalk tractors, 
how wide are your snow bearing blades? How wide are your street sweeping blades? We went into that detail and we found that information out. Uh, and so we tried to keep operations uh, as close uh, to current operations as possible and utilizing the existing equipment. 